I guess just kind of kicking you into this next uh, phase, uh, what per pearls can you share when it comes to holding the D-Real? And, you know, what kind of touch is used? Is it a light hand, a heavy hand? Uh, what can you share in that regard? Well, yeah, uh, I hold it the way sort of I would uh, a pair of bayonet forceps. You know, using the microscope or tubular retractors, you, you have to learn how to keep your hands out of the way. And so the Drial with the angulation, the Drial with the angulation allows you to do that. And so it, it is purely a finesse tool. And, and the one thing that I'd recommend holding it uh, with your thumb and index and long finger the way I do, uh, I get the thing turning. I don't jam it into the frame and, and then step on the pedal. I like to see it turn and then I, I go back and forth and in and out just exactly as you saw in the video. And I've not gotten any situation where it's got stuck or hung and twisted or was wrenched out of my hand. Uh, nothing like that at all. That, the high speed really uh, keeps that from happening. But it, for me, I like to see the burr turn before I engage it and make it go to work. I think you're kind of asking for some trouble if you stick it in all the way and I and I and I bury the thing uh, as far as it'll go but I do that with it running and I do that running I see it turn I work my way in and then I, I take it out as far as it'll go. Very nice that uh, kind of leads us to a question I want to insert here as well that came in from the f uh, field. Uh, uh, how do you tell that when the foramen is opened up? Well, I, after uh, I make my passes, uh, I take a Murphy ball, and, and it is so impressive the first time you do it, and you feel like, I just can't believe I made that much room. It, it, you just, it's one of those things I can tell you, but until you experience it, you're not going to believe me. It is, uh, it's almost too good to be true. So do you kind of uh, go back? The first time I used it, I said, this is too good to be true. <laughs> So do you go back and forth? Will you use it for, you know, a, a, a certain amount of time, then go in with the Murphy ball, feel it and assess where you're at and then kind of come back and then, yeah. you know. Okay. I'll make two or three passes. And as you know, uh, you know, if you're, if you're pulling on or towing on the door with a sucker or whatever, if you've done much spine surgery, you know, the fewer the passes, the less chances you're going to have for something to go wrong or, get the dirt in a bind or, or pinch it or nick it or put a little hole in it. Uh, you know, um, we've all dealt with that. And boy, this just really eliminates uh, other passes. And then the other thing is I'm not, not really doing a whole lot of retraction when I use it. Uh, you know, just don't feel like I have to do that. There's room to, to slip it in and, and get it started. 